So let's take a look at immutable deploys. And this one really is reliant on the auto scaling group. So over here, um, what you can see is that we already have an elastic load balancer that points an EC2 instance that's inside of an auto scaling group. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a new auto scaling group with a single EC2 instance in it or whatever, uh, however many servers we need to replace. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to deploy the updated version of our app on the new EC2 instances in that new auto scaling group. And then what we're going to do is we're going to point that elastic load balancer to the new ASG. And then we're going to delete the old ASG, which is going to terminate all the old instances. So the reason why you'd want to do this is that this is the safest way to deploy critical applications. Um, and when you want to roll back, if we just go over here, the idea is that you don't have to destroy this autoscaling group immediately. You can wait until this uh, new uh, production autoscaling group is running smoothly. You could wait days or weeks, however long you want. And then you could destroy um, this old autoscaling group. Or if you had to roll back, you could instantly move back to that autoscaling group because all the infrastructure exists. So um, rollbacks are really easy. It's super safe, um, you know, but uh, there's not a lot of downsides to it. I mean, this is the one I would choose to do.